Hi everyone, I will be setting up SSH two-factor authentication using Google Authenticator on Ubuntu. First, I'm going to install the Google Authenticator PAM, the pluggable authentication module. Yes. Now I'm going to edit the etsy pam.d sshd file. I'm going to go to the bottom of the file, shift G, and then O to open. And then I'm going to put in the Google Authenticator PAM module. And I'll hit escape and then colon WQ to write and quit. Now I'm going to edit the sshd config file. And I'm going to search for the keyboard interactive authentication line. So type in forward slash KBD interactive. And then I'm going to change this from no to yes. So then type in A to a pen and then remove no to yes. Then escape, then colon WQ to write and quit. And now I'm going to restart the SSHD service. And now I'm going to run Google Authenticator to create a QR code and secret key for my account, KMD Tech. Yes, I want to be time-based. And there's my QR code and my secret key. You can use the Google Authenticator app, or you can use the Google Chrome extension. So I'm going to search for that in Chrome, click on this link, and I'm going to add it to Chrome. And I'm going to pin it. And in the Authenticator extension, hit the pencil, and I'm going to add. So you can scan a QR code or do a manual entry. I'll do a manual entry. And the issuer is my server and the secrets. I'm going to advanced, put my username, and I'll leave the rest as defaults. So this code, I'm going to put it in. And there are five emergency scratch codes that you have in case if you lose access to your Google Authenticator app or Chrome extension. And yes, I want to update the file. And yes, I want to disallow multiple uses of the same authentication token. And no, I don't want to allow compensation for possible time skewing. And I want to enable rate limiting. So it's done. So I'm going to log off and log back in. Put in my password. And I'll put in my verification code, 163281. And I'm logged in. So that's it. That's how you can set up SSH two-factor authentication using Google Authenticator on Ubuntu. I hope this was useful. And I thank you for watching. Bye now.